Alright, so IS36 refers to impairment of assets. Now before we move forward to what this IS is about, let's look at some of the terminologies that IS uses. So IS uses this term carrying amount. So carrying amount is basically net book value of the asset. We know what depreciation is and fair value that is the fair value is basically the market price of the asset at this point so if I go and sell my asset and the money I get in return is my fair value less costs to sell cost to sell can include any interest payments or lease payments levied or maintenance costs levied on the asset before I can sell it off because I need to pay those uh, expenses before I can actually sell my asset so fair value less the cost to sell this gives me my net market value so to explain the last two terminologies value in use and recoverable amount um, we'll go over a small example um, to understand what this IS is all about so let's say you have a non-current asset And let's say the net book value of the asset is $8,000. And let's say the net market value or the net fair value is 10000 So this is the amount I'll get after paying all the costs to sell and selling my asset so in between we have what is called value in use so what is value in use so value in use goes back to the topic of capital appraisal where we used to find or calculate the net present value to decide whether we have to purchase an asset or not so uh, what we do is we see we uh, adjust our net receipts that we can that we will generate in the future for the remaining life of the asset and we adjust it to our cost of capital or current interest rates or inflation and we and the total sum or the total net book the net present value that we can generate from uh, the asset is basically your value in use um, in terms uh, in the words of IES, it's basically the present value of the future cash flows obtainable as a result of an asset's continued use, including cash from its ulti ultimate disposal. So even uh, the, so even the scrap value is to be included, and all of that uh, discounted uh, discounted uh, discounted uh, with inflation will give you your net present value and will give you your value in use. So this is basically. present value of the asset and it's the remaining present value so let's say um, I purchase the asset uh, I purchase the asset and its life is of five years and I'm in uh, and year and the second year has just ended so my value in use will be the net present value of the remaining three years so that would be my value in use and let's say my value in use is 9000 so that was value in use so value in use is also done so so what's recoverable amount recoverable amount is how much I will uh, get from the asset right and since our motive or a motive a motive of any firm is profit maximization this will be higher of the value in use and the net fair value in this case this would be 10,000 let me just write it again so this is your recoverable amount the amount that I will get or basically the higher 
of an asset's fair value less cost to sell that is the net market value and its value value in use the higher of the two so that's my recoverable amount so what does this is deal with this is deals with the impairment so let's say in this in this example your network value is of 10 is of 8000 your network value is 8000 and your recoverable amount is 10000 so the idea is that your if your network value is greater than the recoverable amount then the asset is impaired that is the asset has to be reduced to the lower of the two so yeah and if uh, the network value is already lesser than the recoverable amount we uh, leave it as it is we don't do, we don't make any changes in this case the two values are 8000 and 10000 so we will record 8000 in our books but let's say for example if the values if this value was 12000 if my network value was 12000 so here, so here we will apply the prudence concept that my recoverable amount the amount that i'll get is 10000 but my network value the balance sheet shows 12000 for the asset so in this case <clears throat> i will show an impairment loss in my balance sheet I will show an impairment loss in my balance sheet so my net book value matches the recoverable amount so what we need to realize is that if the net book value or the carrying amount is greater than the recoverable amount then the asset is impaired there is an impairment loss this over here is your impairment loss and you will write it down and you will reduce it down to the recoverable amount but if your net book value is lesser than your recoverable amount you will leave it as it is you do not make any changes to it and you record it as as a as the net book value or as 8000 as it was in the previous example so this is uh, is 36 that is impairment of assets